This is Thomas Terry reporting live from Knox Presbyterian Church, where Pastor Deb Roberts has announced that... Well, apparently, since this is a church broadcast, I've been told that I cannot lie. Uh, we are not coming to you live. This is a recorded broadcast, but Pastor Deb is retiring. That much is true. Excuse me, sir. Uh, sir, yes. Uh, how do you feel about Pastor Deb retiring? Who? Pastor Deb Roberts. She's retiring. I, I don't know. I don't know who that is. With everything going on, I just thought they were giving something away for free. Something. Uh, well, well, sir, they are. They are. It's called the love and peace of Jesus, sir. Uh, excuse me, girls. Yes, you seem to really love Pastor Deb. But now, why is that? Oh, well, she would go to family camp with us. And she's great at baptizing and stuff. She's fun and nice and stuff. And her sermons are shorter than Pastor Clint's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, well, thank you for your wonderful comments, girls. Uh, now let's go back to the studio and find out about some of that fun stuff. I am here with Edith, who attends Knox. Edith, how do you feel about Pastor Deb retiring? Oh, me? Oh, I am thrilled for her. The poor thing. Have you seen what she has to deal with on a daily and weekly basis? I mean, oh, that poor woman. I would have retired a long time ago if I had been uh, Yes, <laughs> okay, okay, thank you, yes. Uh, let's uh, go back to the studio to see some pictures of what Pastor Deb has had to uh, deal with.
I've been told we have a lively pre-recorded video of some folks who would like to send Pastor Deb their best wishes and congratulations. Rev Deb, congrats on your upcoming retirement. I'm so excited for you. A couple of lessons I learned from Deb. About three months after I arrived at Knox, she led our late night event for confirmation. And there were six different parts to late night. And Deb called up and invited six different people to help lead late night. Up to this point in ministry, I had been a one-man show with a lot of things. And Deb showed me that night how easily and how smooth a night can run whenever you invite others to help you. And so for the rest of my ministry at Knox and my ministry here in Pensacola, that's what I have done. The second lesson I learned uh, involves the story of Scott Tambling. If you remember Scott, Scott was a great-natured man. He always wore his fanny pack, and he was a person who had intellectual disabilities. Well, Scott's mom passed away, and then Scott lived for another year. And during that year, Deb became his surrogate mother. And Deb invited me to come alongside and help with pastoral care for Scott. Well, that Christmas, Scott's only Christmas without his family and his mother, Rev Deb and Scott gathered together in her office after the Christmas Eve service and opened presents together. It's a beautiful image, and there are thousands more of those memories that others don't know about. So today, I join everyone else in giving thanks for Deb's ministry. God bless. Oh, what a surprise. I was just about to have breakfast. But hey, since you're here, I'd like to talk about my big sister's retirement. What do you say about a big sister when you're the little brother? Well, we went through life together, fought each other, loved each other, went to school together, high school together, uh, we went to university together. And you know, I remember something in university. I was studying theology. And Deb said, you yeah, I don't know, I don't think I could do that. And I said, Deb, I think you could do that. You know, I was a big fan of my sister, still am. Anyway, and guess what? She did study theology. As a matter of fact, she made a career out of it. A career of success, achievement, and in my mind, of going beyond herself. So, for one of our biggest fans, I'd just like to say, happy retirement, Deb. And since you are retired, I've got a great idea. Come on, let me show you. We've got this great place. It's got everything you need and it's right next to where I live. You can go on being my big sister. And over there, well that goes without saying. So what do you think? Isn't it a great idea? As long as you don't mind living in a gated community. We're so excited for you. And we just want to take a second to thank you for the ways you've impacted us in our ministry. Uh, right off the bat, when I was uh, unemployable with an English and philosophy degree from college, you found uh, time in your schedule and uh, money in Knox's budget to give me an opportunity to experience ministry and helped really set me on this path. And I'm always, I will always be grateful for that. And over the years, I think one of the things you've shown me is the importance of planning and that behind-the-scenes work, uh, preparing a thing before it happens and getting the right people in place, and the way fruit really comes from that. And that's a thing I've tried to model and something I'm so grateful for. And, and I just want to thank you for being somebody uh, that we can look up to, uh, to you and then to this whole co-pastoring thing that we can look up to you and to Clint as well. 
Uh, we especially appreciate how you have your own voice, how you are inspired by the Holy Spirit, and you don't shy away from your convictions. Uh, so I am entirely grateful to you for your mentorship and for you simply being a female pastor that has done such a good job. So we certainly thank you uh, for everything that you've done for us in our lives. We are so grateful and wish you a happy retirement. Thank you for all you do, all our love. Well... Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, that was Brian Tank. Th instead of thank, it's the, it's tank. It's, it's, forget it. It's, it's fine. Now, this has been Thomas Terry reporting live from Knox Presbyterian Church. Now let's go back to the studio to find out what else is going on. And remember, always keep the faith.